Hello, everyone. I know I forgot to talk last week, but no one watches these anyway, so it doesn't matter. Um, today, I wanted to talk about the new map. That's what I'm calling it, the new map. Doesn't make any fucking sense, but it's new, and it's shiny. And we all in America like shiny things. Okay, so we're looking at this over here. It's 32 times 12, the, or 32 minus 12, the, new, the old way. It's like 32 minus 12 is easy. I can do that in my head. And it's easy. You just take the 2s, subtract 2 is 0, subtract 1 is 2. I mean, this is freaking simple. <laughs> I mean, I like math, for those who don't know. I like math. Math makes sense. Math is not improbable. Math is... No, math is not... St it's not like people. It's It's simple. So I like math. Now this is the new way. Okay, the new way. You have 32 times 12. So you do all this shit. You gotta do 12 minus 3 equals 15, which that should be a plus apparently. 15 plus 5 is 20. 20 minus 10 is 30. 30 plus 2 is 32. I don't even know what the fuck they're doing and how they came up with the answer of 20. I have no fucking clue. That seems like a lot of extra work. And I haven't brought this up with my Belgium friend David yet. So he will probably get a good laugh at it if I can ever get this picture saved. Now, I watched the video explaining this new math. Well, I watched six minutes of it. There was 15 minutes on. Explaining the new math. It seemed like a lot of extra work. I mean, it was, I think it was like 32 times 21. It's like, okay, I can pretty much do that in my head, as can most people. But once again, it's all the extra work they have you do. This is funny, and here's the reason they justified the new math. Which I'm calling it, the new math. It's like, buddy Christ, only not as new and not your buddy. They justified it by saying, no one has become a master of mathematics doing the old way. That is pretty much what they said. Almost word for word. And I thought, well, what about John Nash? I mean, the guy won a Nobel Prize in mathematics. He's, he's one of the greatest math minds of all time. What about John Nash? And then I thought, well, what about Albert Einstein? I know he was a physicist. But physics is a form of math. And what about Stephen Hawking? What about, I mean, those are the only three I can think of off the top of my head because I don't know about math geniuses. But these three, I'm pretty sure we're master of mathematics any way you go. But yes, this is the new way. There's another way where you draw a square, you know, like a four square type thing on your paper. And then you draw lines diagonally through it, and that takes the place of the placeholders, and you times the in the diagonal squares. So I don't know. It was fucking weird, and seemed like it would take forever. And this was for multiplication. Now all agree, multiplication can be hard if you don't know how to do multiplication. Because here's the thing, the secret to multiplication is learning multiplication. It's pretty much memorizing the outcomes of the numbers and that's the secret to division and multiplication. Another way to do it when you're first learning multiplication is do the adding thing which I'm assuming they're not doing anymore. But the adding thing where it's like oh you got 5 times 10 and you write 10 fives down and you add them all together. I don't know if they're doing that anymore. I don't know. But yes, this is the new math. This is what we're teaching kids today. I don't know if this is being taught internationally, which, well, I agree our students need to learn mathematics and science and fucking learn, not just goof off like most of us did in high school. That's the thing. But the thing is, the new math is overly complicated. It's like, let's fix something that doesn't need to be fixed, 
by making it more complicated than it ever needed to be. Th I know this is the American method of doing things because that's what we do in America. It's like, oh, let's. It's like I'm trying to stop smoking right now. So I, I went to the gum. Now, at the gum's point is to get you off nicotine, but the way it does it is goofy as fuck. Because it's like instead of having a cigarette, every time you want a cigarette, you chew a piece of gum. So you're still addicted to nicotine. You're just addicted to the gum, not the cigarettes. So you've still got to quit nicotine, only you've wasted 12 weeks worth of money buying the gum. So it's like, why not just follow the gum method on cigarettes and, and cut out the middleman? But anyways, I mean, that, that's how we do things in America. So back to the new math. A lot of your kids, when you have kids, if you have kids, We'll learn this new math. So people, you need to go learn this new method because America is like it likes to complicate things that doesn't need to be complicated. If you want more information on this, just look it up. You can find a video. It is goofy, it is silly, and it seems more complicated than it needs to be. That is all for today.